Hello, this is Grayson with R2C, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly write a rule using SEMGRAP. SEMGRAP is a tool that we maintain. You can check it out by going to semgrep.dev that will take you to the GitHub page. SEMGRAP allows you to specify patterns in your code that you want to search for. You can check out some examples here. It has some support for multiple languages. These are the languages that it supports right now. So next, I'm going to quickly show you how to write a rule in SEMGREP. If you're new to rule writing or to static analysis, there are tons of cool open source code checkers that exist already out there on the internet. One of them for Java is find sec bugs, which stands for find security bugs. It has a whole list of rules. And so what we're going to do today to make it really easy is port a find sec bugs rule that I've already identified here. So we're going to do this potential JDBC injection. So we'll skip over here to semgrep.live, and I've already created an example here where I've taken the code examples from find sec bugs, the uh, vulnerable and uh, correct patterns, paste it in here into some Java code. And we're going to write a rule to catch the vulnerable uh, code pattern. Up here at the top is where you specify a code pattern in YAML format. It has a couple of key fields that you'll need to fill in. The first one here is the ID, which is just a name for your rule. We'll call it JDBC injection. You have to have a message, a uh, possible JDBC injection detected. And then here is the meat and potatoes, the patterns. Patterns takes multiple keys, in which case we'll just do one. We'll specify one pattern with the pipe operator, which stands for a multi-line string in YAML, just to make it easier to write. So SEMGREP is powerful because it allows you to think about your analysis like you think about your code. So in this case, uh, what we're looking to detect is this JDBC template being initialized calling query for object, and then concatenating strings together. We can do this in SEMGREP very easily. So to do this, we'll start with something that is in SEMGREP called a meta variable. We'll call it JDBC. Uh, and this can be named anything, uh, but we'll just call it JDBC because that's what we're aiming to detect. And we'll say that that is equal to new JDBC template. All right. So if we check this, check this really fast, we should pick up both initializations. And yep, we do. Now what we want to do is say that there could be some code in between here and there. And so it might be something like this. Or, well, I'll just copy this over. So the dot dot dot, or the ellipsis operator, allows us to say that we don't care what's between here and there. So what we'll do now is we'll do meta variable JDBC dot query for object. And then what we're looking for is a string that we can say any string like this with the ellipsis plus some variable plus another string, which is what's happening down here. And then we can say we don't care about what's happening in the rest of the function with another ellipsis. And then if we run the check and we got it. Now we have this and we can publish it to a registry of rules that we maintain. And so we'll give it a name like this. And then we'll click publish. And we can check it out. 